So what is the perfect tire pressure for your gravel bike? Well, we're gonna jump into that in this video. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers, and if you're into gravel bikes, 650B bikes, the supple life, then you have found your people, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you appreciate content like this, stuff that is focused on not just the roadie scene or the mountain bike scene, consider supporting the channel with the PayPal links below or by buying some supple merchandise. Supple. So from reading the comments, I've noticed that a lot of the viewership is uh, either fairly new to cycling or they're coming from another discipline like road cycling. And everyone's really curious about this idea of running a supple tire. And one topic that I don't think gets discussed very often is actually what tire pressure should you run in these tires? So I'm not gonna give you an exact number, but I'm gonna give you some starting points depending on the tires you're running. So if you're coming from a bike with uh, road tires, then typically you'll see pressures anywhere from 80 to 120, which is just insane. Gravel tires, on the other hand, uh, that range of usable tire pressures is actually much lower. I would say anywhere from the 15 to uh, the 50 uh, PSI range, if that. 50 is really hard for, I think, a gravel tire. One idea that I like to throw out there is instead of one specific perfect platonic uh, tire pressure, you can actually run tires in an ideal range depending uh, on the terrain, on the width of your tire, on how much weight you're carrying, if it's just yourself or if you're carrying gear. So there's a lot of flexibility. And oftentimes when I go on a bike ride, uh, if it's long enough and the terrain really varies, I'll actually stop and change the tire pressure multiple times. So a little bit harder when it's smooth pavement and when things get chunky, I'll let a little bit more air out to get a little bit more suspension out of the tire. So keep that in mind when I make these recommendations, these are all starting points and you definitely wanna see what works well for you. Another concept to have in mind is if you run a tubeless tire setup, you can run the pressures a lot lower uh, than if you're running a tube. That's one of the primary advantages, I think, uh, not so much the flat protection, but the ability to run lower uh, tire pressures. And the reason you would want to do this is you may encounter terrain that is super rocky and you need something to really take the edge off or you need more flotation and traction and have to drop down the tire pressure to give you that. So with all that in mind, here are my recommendations for starting points to finding your ideal tire pressure range. Uh, let's start off with tires that, with our, that are within the 35 to 38 millimeter range. I think a good place to start is around 40 PSI. That's probably gonna be a little bit high, but depending if you're carrying a load, you may want to uh, ride it at that pressure. And usually what I do is uh, my front and rear tire will actually run at different pressures. Let's say my rear is at 40 PSI. I'll actually drop the uh, PSI of the front tire to about 37 to 35. So let's move on to tires in the 40 to 45 millimeter range. I think this is when things get a little bit more interesting because you can run them at lower pressures. Uh, typically I would start out at 35 PSI, maybe in the rear and 30 in the front. And I would see how that feels. Are you bottoming out the rim? Uh, if so, then and you want to put more air in the tires. If uh, you feel like you're hitting bumps, but you still have uh, some, some room to play in terms of the compliance, then I take air out. I've actually run a pair of 40 millimeter tires uh, set up tubeless as low as uh, 25, just for more traction and to uh, soften out the bumps on roots and rock. You can start at 35 and, and if you really wanna play with the suppleness of the tire, you can drop it down into the 20s. So don't be afraid to, to experiment on the road or the trail. That's why we have pumps after all. So moving on to tires in that 50 millimeter and above range. Uh, these tires are super fun. I have a pair of these in the form of the Soma Casadero on uh, my cutthroat and it's what I rode at 30 Kinza. And for a tire like that, I would probably start at the high end at around 30 and go down from there. But once again, depending on the terrain, uh, if, if you find that it's a uh, flat uh, hero dirt, almost like pavement that you can run it at higher tire pressures, but the rockier it gets, again, taking more PSI incrementally until you see where you like how the bike feels. Usually when I'm dialing in tire pressure, I'm looking for that sweet spot between uh, low rolling resistance and comfort. There is a point when uh, the, the bike gets a little too bouncy and it takes a lot more effort to get it going. So that would be the point where I would say it's too low then I would put air in the tire. But I think you'll see as you play around with tire pressure, especially with these wider tires that are over 
for the millimeters, there's actually a, a fair amount of room. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. What are your favorite gravel tires and what PSIs are you running on them at? I'm super curious. I don't know if I'm running mine lower than average, probably, but uh, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can start a graph of like ideal tire pressures for particular tires. So if you like this video, consider subscribing or supporting the channel with those links. Every bit helps. And until next time, keep the supple side down.